What's up, watch mode? <laughs> Welcome back to watch. No, 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 I did it wrong. These theories will make you go da 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 Nickelodeon. Welcome back to WatchMojo.com, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 dark and disturbing theories in popular Nickelodeon shows. Number 10 is a scene in SpongeBob that where in season, I don't know, we'll check Wikipedia later, where Squidward was running away from SpongeBob and this is right after 9-11, which is 2001. So, and Squidward runs out of the crusty, in the crusty crap, and it catches on fire. And it is like right after 9-11. So, they censored it. And they replaced it with less fire. So, that's pretty dark, right, guys? Number nine goes to Rugrats, where the Rugrats' mom is pregnant, and she has a kid. And it shows all the babies peeing. That's pretty dark, right? The babies is disturbing, not dark. It's, the babies are peeing while they're singing. That's, I don't think there's something good with them. Those babies weren't even crying. It's kind of weird, you know? Might have lost a chromosome or two in the birthing facility in my red, my fellow adults. Number eight goes to, um, number eight goes to, Samurai Jack, because it got on um, Adult Swim, so now it's really mature. Not, it's dark and disturbing, and it used to be kid cartoon. Don't watch it, unless you're an adult like us. Number seven goes to where any cartoon where a character died. Number six goes to... um. Spongebob where Spongebob eats the nasty patty and they kill the guy. Remember that one? And they try to bury him, but he's not dead. He's just a health inspector. Happy health inspector. And number one. Well, wait, wait, wait. Here's some honorable mentions. First honorable mention is a cartoon that has something really dark and disturbing that we just don't like to talk about because we just found out of this in post. So... That's that. No, the next song we'll mention is Rush's album, Moving Pictures, and Metallica's self-titled debut, Kill Them All. Um, and then next, number one, is Watch Mojo.